Hello everyone, my name is Enrique Ortega. I am associate professor at the School of Aerospace at UPC and also researcher at CIGNE. In collaboration with my colleague Roberto Flores, I developed the Git software application Parachutes. Today, it will be a pleasure to guide you through a brief description of our software. Let's do it. I would like to start by pointing out some specific aspects of parachute simulation. Parachutes, in general, have complex shapes and structures. The materials wrinkle under compressive loads, showing asymmetric behavior. Parachutes are also subject to big changes in geometry through the different stages of flight. The flow surrounding parachute is complex and is given considerably steadiness and detachment. Since there is a rapid response of the structure to change in the aerodynamics and vice versa, coupled solution approaches are needed. The solution approaches to these complex problems can be divided into experimental and legacy calculation methods and numerical simulation. Experiments provide reliable reference values and are preferred by manufacturers. In addition, the test results always have the last word in design decisions. However, wind tunnel or flight tests are very expensive and the time of development is high. The instrumentation and test procedure are quite challenging due to the large displacement of the structure. Usually, there is considerable interference of the sensors on the measures. Also, such techniques are not suitable for preliminary design. Semi-empirical methods are fast and suitable for preliminary design. This has achieved great confidence over many decades of use. But these techniques are quite general and not suitable for unconventional designs or analysis. In addition, the proper application requires considerable knowledge of the problem, intuition and experience. Regarding numerical simulation, low fidelity methods were first developed in the 80s. This based on panel method for the aerodynamics and finite element method for the structure. The resulting methodology was quite successful for real parachute applications. The fact that only the surface of the model need to be discretized in panel method made the solution affordable with little computational resources. The main disadvantage came from the fact that this approach is only realistic when the flow is mostly attached. This means wins in nominal flight conditions or under moderate maneuver. In the 90s, a series of high fidelity methods was proposed. This go further in physical modeling and are applicable to most flight conditions. These methods are very useful for performing a specific analysis. However, in this approach, the entire fluid surrounding the parachute might be discretized and solved. And uncertain things also arise regarding the proper modeling of the turbulence and the detached flow. The high computational cost makes it not suitable for engineering analysis, and often such approaches are not affordable to small manufacturers and designers. As a matter of fact, today there are very few commercial tools for routine practice. Manufacturers still rely on experiments and legacy calculation methods. Here an overview of our proposal. The development of parachute started at Simne in 2005. This was a joint work with Sins Engineering and Sistema, a Spanish manufacturer of parachutes. Together, we made important advances during the European project paraplane, basically invalidation and the user interface. In 2015, interested in the software encouraged us to offer it under license. We sold the first one to Airbus for using the Ersys project. In 2018, we started with the company Builder an extension of parachute for the solution in inflatable buildings. Today, we continue validating and developing new applications. Recently, we carry out important advances in the context of the Space Rider project. The design of parachutes follows some specific guidelines. First, the development are specially intended for gliding parachute, but extension to other types of canopies are also considered. The computational cost must be low and the program must run on basic hardware. That is why we relied on low fidelity but accurate enough approaches. Roughness and ease of use are essential for the tool 
to be suitable for small developers and companies. The software must allow for steady and transient analysis. Also, the aerodynamic and structural software must be independent. This is important for the software to be useful for general aerodynamic and structural applications. And finally, for specific problems, we rely on inexpensive semi-empirical methods to improve the accuracy and scope of our methodology. Now I will comment some important aspects of the solution approach in parachutes. Beginning with the aerodynamic solver, this is based on the incompressible potential flow equation. Here we have the conservation of mass and momentum statements. As usual, we define the velocity field as the gradient of the potential function, and therefore we meet the momentum equations in an automatic manner. Introducing this definition into conservation equation, we obtain the Laplace equation for the potential. The boundary conditions to be applied for solving the problem are the free stream potential far from the body and slip velocity condition on its surfaces. The solution of the potential flow problem is carried out by means of the Green theorem. This transforms the problem in the domain into a problem on the surfaces. Here, we solve the resulting equation using low order doublet and short distribution on the body. A time marching wake model is used in parachute for simplicity and natural development of the wake. The pressure loads are obtained by means of the Bernoulli equation. It is important to note that the base in visit solver in parachute is improved to incorporate viscous effect in different ways. For example, the user can define drag functions for the canopy, payload and suspension lines. Inflation methods are applied for drag parachutes. And we develop a method for the simulation of extensive detachment around blunt bodies, which automatically determines the flow separated areas and correcting visit pressure field. This is mainly intended for application to inflatable buildings, but it is planning to be used also in parachutes. Regarding the structural solver, this is a dynamic finite element method based on a large deformation small strain formulation with second order explicit time integration. The geometry can be discretized using membrane, cable and solid linear elements. This includes a wrinkling model. Cable stretching can be specified by the user as a function of time for the simulation of maneuvers. Note that this also simplifies the model setup because sometimes it is difficult to give the correct line of the line in the CAD model. In parachute, groups element can be converted into rigid solid to reduce the computational cost when the deformation is not relevant. For example, in the modeling of payloads. There is also a mass spring damping model that replaces the finite element formulation when the distortion of the element is high. This can be used, for example, for the initial stages of deployment and inflation of parachutes. The solver also includes artificial damping for the control of numerical spurious oscillations. Here we have the semi-discrete equations with the corresponding term of inertia, external and internal loads, and damping. The latter include mass and stiffness proportional terms. The discretization is explicit and we use velocity at the midpoint of the interval for a second order approximation of the acceleration. The forces term on the right hand side of the equation is calculated once per time step. And finally, the coupling methodology. In parachute, the coupling within the aerodynamic and structural code is two-way stagger. It is important to note that both solvers share the same mesh. In this way, the transfer of aerodynamic loads is direct because these are solved on the same elements. And after the structural step calculation, the position and velocity of the model nodes are simply updated. Since the time integration is explicit and the stability limit of the element is small, usually of order minus 4 seconds, the aerodynamic loads are not computed at each iteration of the structural solver. This may have some effect on high frequency mode, but the lower modes which usually determine the response of the structure are well captured. The solver also includes added mass effects, which are relevant for the simulation of very light structures.
the program parachute is integrated into Git. Git makes easier the entire simulation process, from the CAD definition, the setup of the problem and the calculation, to the analysis of the results. Git also allows to use the aerodynamic and structural solvers in an independent manner. This makes parachute useful for different aerodynamic and structural problems and applications. In the post-process, the user can access to very comprehensive information from the aerodynamic and structure. Additional files are also generated for further processing, for example, are required to analyze the trajectory of the system. I would like to show some application examples and comparison of calculated and experimental data. Here we have a parachute payload system with symmetric brakes. We can see the evolution of the aerodynamic forces with the percent of tail deflection. This is the velocity and glide slope, and it is possible to see a very good agreement between calculated and experimental result. To give you an idea of the cost of the simulation, 5 seconds of physical time takes in parachute about 1 hour running on a desktop computer. In this way, in a few hours, it is possible to have an estimate of the steady performance of the system. Here we have another simulation of a turn maneuver. This also shows a reasonable agreement with flight this data. And here some picture of the simulation of a landing flare. Finally, this is a simulation of the deployment of a drag parachute. The simulation starts with the mass spring damping model, which completes the extraction and part of the inflation of the canopy. When the distortion of the element is acceptable, the solver switches to the finite element model to complete the inflation and the terminal flight. It is important to note that the aerodynamics in this example is calculated with a semi empirical filling time and inflation model. The agreement with flight test data is quite satisfactory. Well, to conclude this presentation, I would like to comment some present and future developments. At present, we are working on extending the analysis to general multibody simulation. Also in automatic reporting tools for data reduction, for example, for extracting the trajectory of the system after simulation. We are working also on improving the semi-empirical model we use for separation drag and maximum lift. In a larger term, we are developing a particle vortex method for the simulation of detached flow, and also more precise models for the structural contact. Many of these developments will be included in the new version of Parachute, number 3, which we hope to be released soon. And that's all. Thank you very much for your attention.